Hi Dominica, in this video I'll show you how to uh, assemble the bike again uh, so you don't need a mechanic if you follow the uh, steps um, carefully uh, in case uh, just send me a message I'll be happy to help you with that problem uh, but just before I wanted to suggest to you uh, which tools to use obviously if you want to do it yourself you might want to use uh, a 15 millimeter spanner a five millimeter um, Allen key and a four millimeter Allen key. Uh, the four millimeter Allen key will be used for the uh, for the handlebar, the headset uh, side. The five millimeters um, Allen key will be used will be used on um, the seat post too, if you can. Uh, the five, 15 sorry uh, millimeter spanner keys will be um, for the front wheel and uh, pedals so what you want to do as a first thing make sure you still have the grease on the seat post so you want to fit it in more or less like so and then use a five millimeter uh, allen key to tighten it sure is tighten up enough so it doesn't slide in whenever you are uh, riding or sitting on sure this tip is just aligned with the middle of the of the frame right now it's time to fit the uh, handlebar back up so what you want to do with that is removing this little screw this little plate remove this Remove this uh, zip tie. Make sure, of course, you hold the um, fork in place because otherwise it's gonna uh, slide off. So you want to fit the end of on, like so, like this. Make it enough, but not as tight because otherwise it might uh, lock the fork in its uh, steering movement. So it might be. Uh, not as comfortable to ride. I've done this and this a little bit, both sides, tight them a little, don't go crazy with them yet, put the wheel back up and then align the wheel with this point, with this line in the, in the fork, making sure, making sure the end of bar is just right in the middle of your wheel. So time to put the pedals on uh, with a 15 millimeters spanner key or a six millimeters uh, Allen key. Obviously make sure on here uh, you can find uh, which side it is. Uh, this is the right one as you can see if it can focus in. There is an R so that's the right one. Uh, there is an L, which is the left side. Okay, you can see them have they have a different uh, uh, thread side. So make sure not to put them in the wrong side. We'll start screwing them, like tightening them back with my uh, fingers. If it's close enough, then use the tool. The other side fits the other way around, so it's the left. Just make this with uh, with your hands without uh, so much tension and then tuck them make sure the disc sits in place without drag any uh, of the pads and then clockwise you're gonna tight the two bolts make sure it is all the way up and then tight them back like this Put yourself with the spanner and then again clockwise to tighten them back make sure the disc doesn't rub so what i will do i will make sure this upper side of the chain sits on the last gear so the outer one once i've reached this point i will then go on the other side so i want the disc to like gently and smoothly uh, sit back in once obviously i've made sure uh, I make sure the um, the disc is not 
uh, going to be obstructed from uh, the pads, I'll just push it back up. I'll help myself with uh, a knee or like, you know, with a knee underneath pushing up. Make sure you hold the wheel in this position. So make sure it's all the way up and then close the lever back, okay? The lever doesn't have to be um, like soft, but not either so hard because otherwise you're gonna like create a sort of like friction in the bearings and obviously it won't be uh, the right performance, right? Um, when you get the, the wheel back, uh, make sure the disc is not touching anywhere so it doesn't make any noise apart from the clicking coming from the uh, cassette. Uh, that I mean you have to make sure the disc is not touching any of the pads, like any of the side, uh, so against the pads. Um, 